All right, guys. Settings time. So I've been wanting to do an updated settings video for a pretty fair amount of time. I'm going to try my best to go through this as fast as possible. And also, if you're one of my viewers that um, likes or plays Fortnite, I'm going to be doing a settings video on that as well. All right, as far as button layout goes, I play in tactical flip just because it's the most comfortable for me. And I've always liked using my bumpers for shooting and aiming regardless of whatever game I'm playing. Because it just feels like, like naturally faster and stuff. It's more comfortable. Right here, of course, I do have them flipped like I mentioned. Stick layouts default, I have vibrations off just because I don't like vibrations. I mean, if you do like them, of course, you can have them on. But I feel like they just get in my way most of the time. They're super irritating. My trigger effect is also off as far as the dead zones go. These are my dead zones and stuff, though, guys. Um, these might be different for you because, of course, if you have an older controller than me, it's most likely going to have more drift since it's worn out more. But what you want to do is you want to go in here and turn the test stick dead zone on. And if these are like moving and stuff, or if you see those percentages kind of like bobbing up and down like that one on the left right now, this is honestly perfect because I can show you guys an example. But yeah, as you can see, it's at 5% and 8% which means that that one's drifting. So we're going to put it up two. Still drifting a little bit vertically. We'll put it up to three. That two now. Try four. Still drifting a little bit. And boom, at five, it doesn't drift at all. Well, actually, maybe a little bit. Well, so yeah, I think it's still doing it a little bit. So I'll just put that up to six for safe measure. But yeah, as you can see, that stopped the drift and that percentage now um, is at zero, zero naturally, and it's not moving by itself. So yeah, boom, perfect dead zone. Now, as far as my sensitivity goes, I have it on custom. To get to the custom portion, you just go all the, all the way up to the very, very top. Now, what just makes this different from like the regular sensitivities is that you can be a little bit more precise. So I personally just used 1.9, 1.8. It's kind of at that point where it's fast enough to where I can have good movement and everything, but slow enough to where I can keep having a good and consistent aim. For sensitivity multipliers, I don't even think I changed any of them really. My ADS sense is 0.75, but I do use custom um, sensitivity. Vertical aim access, I didn't touch that at all. Tactical stand sensitivity multiplier is still at 1.0. And for my um, aim response curve, I use dynamic, but I have my curve slope at 50 because it makes it feel like uh, old war zone in a way with the um, with the slope and how it feels like and everything. That and it kind of makes your aim a bit more sticky. Um, but yeah, this is on 1.0. That's instant. Now I do have custom sensitivity per zoom on, like I mentioned. Um, my low zoom in two to three times is 0 0.75. Then everything after that is just 0 0.65. So I can have a tiny bit slower on my um snipers to have them stick a bit more so i can kind of have it help with lining up a headshot or whenever i do get on the head it slows down a whole lot and i can just snipe them. um but yeah aim assist on uh default on and then assist motion sensor i don't even know what that does i'm pretty sure it's like gyro and stuff i have that off entirely as far as gameplay goes there's a bunch of settings in here so i'm just gonna slowly scroll through them all and you guys can copy them i will say though for grounded mantle if you guys don't want to have the risk of um jumping on random stuff in gunfights you can turn that off but i will warn you whenever you're trying to run or get through windows and stuff y you might have a little bit of a hard time getting through that but yeah this is how all these settings look So yeah, those are all those. As far as graphics go, I have on-demand texture streaming off. Because this can commonly make you lag. And the whole entire time while you're playing, it's going to be downloading your textures from the internet. Which can probably spark your latency up a good bit. After that, for motion blur and fill game and all that other crap, I have that off. But I do have fidelity um, cast on just for the sharpness. Um, and make the game look more sharp and clear. For my eco mode thing, I just have it on efficiency. I don't really know what that does, but it hasn't caused me any issues so far. So I'm just going to leave it as that. I do have a 120 hertz monitor or one that supports 120 hertz so i have that on if you don't have one i suggest getting one because this makes your game um feel so so much more smooth and i'm pretty sure it allows you to have access to 120 fps my field of view is also on 120 and it's affected with the wide weapon field of view this just allows you to see the most and have the uh, lowest amount of visual recoil third person is at 90 and then both of the uh, camera movement settings are at 50 or just the lowest to where your camera doesn't shake a whole lot. I do have inverted flashbang on because the white flashbang, of course, is a little over the top for me. All the rest of this doesn't really matter. I mean, I do have HDR on because it, of course, makes your game clearer. But depending on what monitor you, uh, monitor you have, that's going to change. 
And as far as a uh, safe area goes, I just have mine closed in as much as possible. I might push it out some, or I'll try pushing it out some, and we'll see how that looks maybe in future videos and stuff. But I mainly just keep it fully enclosed. For audio mix, I have it on headphones and stuff. Speaker configuration is on stereo, but I probably will put it to 7.1. I don't know if that, yeah, it just automatically changes it though for me. I don't know why it does that. What I say, but yeah, I guess it just gets auto put back to stereo. As far as my audio goes, master is on 100. And basically everything else is on zero except for dialogue, which is at 30 and effect is at 100. So I don't have any music or anything playing in my ear while I'm trying to uh, listen for enemies. Wish that volume is just at 20 because a lot of people I ran into have a lot of uh, they have very, very loud microphones. And if I'm using my earbuds and stuff like that, I don't want to blow an eardrum. So yeah, I have that at 20. Wish that and everything, I didn't really change all too much. These are kind of all just preference. So if you guys do want to copy these, I mean, you can, but it might be a bit different for you. I don't have subtitles on at all. I just have them on default. So it's only in the campaign because of course, that's the only time I really care about subtitles. But yeah, mono audio and all this other stuff is, isn't is too important. It is preference, but I do have reduced uh, the sitnitis sound down because it's just a very annoying sound and I hate ringing in my ears. So I have that on. Dragonaut music is on because it's cool. War tracks and all that crap is off because I don't want the extra noise. And hit marker sounds are just on classic. As far as interface goes, there's subtitles again. They're all on default. My color customization though is a bit different. I have my enemy color on this, but I will recommend the best enemy color is lime green because it just stands out the most on the map. And as far as um, color filters go, I've used filter 2 and um, filter 3, I'm pretty sure. Filter 3 provides like a better map, uh, what's it called? Kind of like better map clarity on the mini map, but it's kind of harder to see enemies. So I've kind of stuck with filter 2 for the most part. But filter 2 is the best for saturation and color. Just make sure your color filter target and both your intensities are on both and then 100-100. Minimap shape, square, rotation is on. I took off the compass just because I think it's kind of useless whenever I have the minimap. Um, crosshairs though, I have the center dot on and the center dot scale is at the largest. This kind of just helps with centering and everything. Hit marker visuals are on. Damage base hit marks are also on player names is full and then i have text chat and everything else on same with the stamina bar but i say all these are kind of just preference so you guys can copy them but that's basically kind of all my warzone settings so if you guys did enjoy this video and everything um don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications also if you're new you can join the channel as a member for only three dollars a month you'll be able to see all of my videos and everything hours days possibly even weeks before anybody else on the channel um but yeah that's all i have guys i'll see you in the next video